Sprite art in Clip Studio Paint. How do you do it? Let's learn it. First up, you gotta make a new canvas. I think it's easy to take that 1920 by 1080 res and just take out the zeros, 192 by 108. And then, even if you're worried about the size and you, you draw your 32 bit by 32 character, then you're like, all right, you can just select it and then crop, and there you go. But I prefer making it on a big canvas so then you can have a sprite sheet and draw all your characters side by side and keep ratios and proportions and stuff all good. Some technical things is that you're gonna wanna take your pen and then duplicate it by right clicking and duplicate it, then uh, rename it Sprite. It's like your Sprite pen. And then, this is important because I didn't notice this at first, but if you have your brush size at anything lower than one, it's not really gonna draw that well. See, I'm moving my pen across the screen, but it's only drawing a pixel every once in a while. So if you make sure it's at size one, then it's gonna draw actually good. It would also be nice if you could see the like the grid of pixels. And you can do that by going to view, grid, and then go to back again, view, grid, ruler bar settings. And right here, how many pixels do we wanna see? Well, we wanna see every single one. So let's put one, one, there we go. Now we're gonna be able to see the, the little boxes that every pixel will go in. So we have our brush, it's working good. And I would also recommend to um, know your hotkey for, for uh, switching between your pen's color and the alpha because you can use that as your eraser. And then another pretty easy trick is that if you click somewhere and then you hold shift, you'll be able to draw straight lines. So let's move on to some pixel art theory stuff because I know about that and we'll learn. First up, pixels are really small, so you gotta rely on silhouettes to communicate what things are. It's just smart in all of art, period. So here we got two spheres. I hope you can tell that one is an egg and one is just a ball. And that's what we got. That's a simple example though. Here I drew another example, but one has a good silhouette, the other not so great. The one on the left, what even is that? We can't tell, right? But on the other side, you could probably tell that it's a bunny with a dynamite. Okay, moving on. Next thing is doubles. Doubles is when you have kind of extra pixels that are hanging around on your outline and you can identify them because they form a right angle. Like right here, we can take that off, take that off, take that off. And this is clearing up the readability of our S right here. When we add these extra pickles, <laughs> when we add these extra pixels, it's just kind of muddying up and doesn't look as clean. You can do this sometimes though, and you can even have a double pixel wide uh, line art style. This is just something that you want to be aware of because if you're doing it, you need to be doing it on purpose. Having no doubles is kind of like the default thing to do. Next up is jaggies. These are just when straight lines actually aren't very straight or your curves actually aren't very perfectly curved. Right here, we got some jaggies, like this straight line that is vertical is broken and the straight horizontal line is like weird, has these weird bends in it. And here's what they would look like if we fixed them. So this is also something just to be aware of the exact curve and the exact straightness of your line. Speaking of curve, how do you make a curve? Because one thing that, if you don't know this, it's pretty hard to make circles, perfect circles, because if you just try it and draw it, it's not gonna look good. And with Sprite, because we're working at such a low res, one mistake actually does really stick out. Okay, so to make perfect curves, there is a counting method and I'll just do it and let's go. So I'll color these pixels red as we count. First, we're gonna start with one. That's how you count, right? You start with one, then we're gonna go up two, two. We did two pixels on both sides. Continue counting, three, three. And depending on how big your circle is, eventually you're gonna start wanting to count down. So three, two, one. Count back down to one, so now let's count back up. Two, two, three, three, two, two, one. But Frost Drive, how do I make a bigger circle than that? Well, actually, it's pretty easy. Just start with one again, but this time we're actually gonna have ones on the sides. And then we'll have two, two, three, three, four, four. If you have a bigger circle, just keep counting up. Like if we can go to five, six, but eventually you wanna start counting down to make the circle curve back like a circle does. Next up is dithering, which is just a fancy way of shading. Most of the time, pixel art don't even have this. You can just do solid shading with solid one color, sometimes two, to make it a little blended. But you can do dithering, which is just making a checkerboard sort of pattern, and you can really vary it up too to get different kinds of textures and things. But this can also be overdone pretty easily. So if you do it, just find some references and then reference those and you'll probably be good. Next up is anti-aliasing, which is what brushes do. I didn't mention this yet, but your brush with default settings may have been doing this, making really blurry lines. And to stop that, all you do is go over to anti-aliasing, click that, it says none, 
then we have none and you're drawing straight pixels. But sometimes with the actual art that you're doing pixel by pixel, sometimes you want to make it a little bit blurred to make things look softer. Anti-aliasing is a method to shade and make things look more round and soft. Okay, so you might be wondering, how do I do this anti-aliasing? Where do I put pixels and how do I know? Well, I got this example right here. It's just some random shape and these are the points where two pixels connect at like this 45 degree angle. And we're gonna put blocks, we're gonna put a pixel in those pixel blocks. And that is how you know where to put the pixels, where to put a slightly darker shade if you're on the inside or if you're on the outside, doing some sort of shade of the object that's lighter than the outline. By the way, if you're just starting out with pixels, I would take away a lot of things such as color that way you don't have to worry about it because too much at once can be debilitating. So start easy. And the easiest way to start would be just messing with white pixels on black backgrounds, you know, or inverse. There is a lot of awesome video games that are done in this style and it's awesome, even though it's only using two colors. And then if you want to step it up from there, you can move on to the Game Boy colors, which is just four shades of green. That's all that old Game Boys could do. So once you finally are ready to draw, a really cool trick is block out the proportions. Like say I want uh, that to be the shoulders and then Let's say I have a style with really long feet, right? Long legs, I mean. Yeah, let's say it's a monster. Just doing that really fast will help you in the long run because fine tuning and tweaking sprites, once you have like so much stuff drawn, oh, it's kind of hard and you just don't, just don't want to do it. It's not very fun. Plan it out from the start. Speaking of being smart, some really awesome features in Clip Studio. First up, <laughs> the symmetry tool. You can use this if you're drawing a character from the front where both sides is going to be the same and this can literally save you half the time. Just make sure to line up the ruler right on a pixel line intersection. Don't put it in the middle. And then also, if you're not very well versed in color theory and all that stuff, you can just go onto the Clip Studio Asset Store and download some palettes that people have put up there. So I figured I'll do a drawing real quick to show you guys what it's like and the thinking behind when you're drawing. And I'm gonna draw my character Mocha, which is the mascot for my other YouTube channel, Art Parlor. It's a drawing show that I do. But Mocha is a frog girl. You know, since it's summertime, I'm gonna draw her in a swimsuit, like swimming in a lake. So that's the drawing, and while drawing it, I realized that thinking about jackies and doubles is kind of similar to inking. You don't worry about inking right away, so don't worry about doubles or jaggies right away during the sketch, but do worry about it in the final image. And there was a point where her other arm was up, but I realized it didn't kind of flow well. You gotta think about the gesture, the S-curve in your art in sprite work too. If you want to learn pixel art uh, way more in depth than just one video, I know a whole channel that's about it. It's called Pixel Pete. Uh, his channel will be down below and you can go check it out. And by the way, if you're looking for more videos on YouTube, especially funny ones, on my other channel, Art Parlor, I recently drew Tommy Pickles as a ninja, so <laughs> go watch that.